Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? Topic of the day, the running back room. So as everybody knows, the Bills drafted Devin Singletary in the third round of the 2019 NFL Draft. A lot of people are saying, why did we draft a running back? Why did we draft a running back so early in the draft? Um, you know, we just signed TJ Yeldon. Like, what are we doing? So here's my thoughts on what the Bills plan that may have been premeditated is for the 2019 season and the running back position. So everybody knows we have LaShawn McCoy, who's coming off of a career low in rushing yards and touchdowns. We also have Frank Gore, who's 36 years old, but still seems to be able to tote the rock. Um, we also signed TJ Yeldon, who is what many people call a Swiss Army knife can catch out of the backfield, can block in the passing game, also can carry the ball. And then we drafted Devin Singletary. I didn't forget Marcus Murphy. I'll get to him in a minute. So I think that the Bills had a premeditated plan heading into the draft. Now, Bean has come out and said that he has a draft board. He has guys for every round notched in where he thinks that they should be selected and why. So you get to the third round, and you know you've already taken Ed Oliver. You've you've addressed your defensive tackle position. You draft Cody Ford, so you've addressed one of your on your your offensive line positions. So now everybody's thinking, what are the Bills gonna do? It's got to be tight end, right? It's it's got to be tight end. Um, it's the third round. What are we gonna do? Then all of a sudden the Bills take Devin Singletary. So then after the draft unfolds, and a couple days later, people start to see what is going on so you have LaShawn McCoy veteran potentially potentially a Hall of Famer depends on he, how he finishes out his career you have a first ballot Hall of Famer in Frank Gore so and you have TJ Yeldon so the only running back heading into the draft that was on contract to the through to the 2020 season is TJ Yeldon now after we just signed him for two years so the thought process that I had, and I think that this is what Brandon Bean had when I meant premeditated, was you got two veterans, you get two young guys, this is how we're going to progress into the future. You have LaShawn McCoy, who is a very capable receiver out of the backfield, very under, 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 underestimated, um, underrated receiver out of the backfield. And then you have Frank Gore. Now, many people want to compare Devin Singleton to Frank to LaShawn McCoy when I think he's more of a Frank Gore type. He's going to get you the yards. He's going to get you the tough yards. He's not going to burn you down the field. He's going to get you the chunk plays. He's going to be the guy that you need in the second half of the game when you're up by 10 points and you're trying to run out the clock. 7-yard gain, 12-yard gain, 8-yard gain, third and short, goal line situations. So you got LaShawn McCoy veteran and you have Frank Gore veteran who are also really close friends and who are going to push each other to the utmost potential that they can get out of each other. They're going to squeeze every bit that they can out of each other. So then you got a TJ Yeldon who I think you got in a two year contract, fairly reasonable price for him. I think that he is going to be to the bills what Frank Gore is going to be this year. He's going to be that guy that's going to be utilized on short yarded situations and on passing downs. Now, what I mean by all this, and stay with me, what I mean by all this is, I think that they brought these two guys in to be the future of the ground game for the Bills. You got LaShawn McCoy, Frank Gore, who are going to mentor a TJ Yeldon and a Devin Singletary. Now that leaves Marcus Murphy. So Marcus Murphy is kind of a unique situation. Does some return stuff. He's okay in the punt, punt and return game. Not great. He's not. He's not flashy. Um, showed some signs um, in the 2017 season, towards the end of the season, of what he could do. Um, had a couple good games. One game. One game in particular against Miami. Um, had a couple big runs in that game to kind of close that game out. But he's not progressed. Um, I don't think. As far along as they thought now offensive line woes last year 
nobody was really doing anything on the ground. Chris Ivory would have a, a decent game. Sean McCoy had the game against the Jets. Other than that, he was pretty stagnant the whole season. Other than Josh Allen, we were pretty bad in the run game. Uh, again, I bring up the offensive line because everybody knows we had our offensive line issues last year. So Marcus Murphy is a guy who's now, I'd say, fifth on the depth chart. You, all, you guys all know that we just released Keith Ford. So that leaves us with five of the name guys, the guys that have gotten some carries, the guys that have got um, experience, if you will. I think if you put Marcus Murphy on the practice squad, I think somebody nabs him. Somebody's going to need an RB, RB3, maybe potentially an RB2 with an injury um, or someone who needs a return game guy. So watch as camp closes in on Marcus Murphy. Because I don't think that he is going to be safe on the roster. I just I just have a feeling like he's going to be the odd man out. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please subscribe to the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel. So in closing, um, and I'll kind of wrap this up, we got LaShawn McCoy, who I think is in for a rebound season. We've retooled the offensive line. You know, I, I think that he's going to have something to prove. He still looks like he's in great shape. He's, he's posting videos of, of just he's doing all kinds of crazy workouts. He's in the pool. He's doing, you know, balancing on one foot, throwing a ball at the wall. He's doing all kinds of stuff. So I think he's in for a bounce back season. Frank Gore, I think, is going to be your, your short yardage specialist, and he's going to be your guy you bring in in the fourth quarter to close out games or goal line situations when it's, you know, first and goal at the three and you just want to run the ball three, four times in a row. TJ Yeldon, he's going to be that guy. You can split him out wide, you know, screen passes. You know, he's a really, really, really underestimated, undervalued uh, blocking running back in the passing game. Um, and he'll get some carries. And then you have Devin Singletary, who I think this is his rookie season. I think he's just going to take some time to kind of learn. And he's got two great guys to learn from. He's got LaShawn McCoy and he's got Frank Gore, two of the best. So, I think that we're setting, the Bills are setting themselves up. Brandon Bean set himself up for the future. He's going to let these two young studs in Yildon and Singletary learn from McCoy and Gore. And then hopefully next season, we won't have to worry about the running back position going forward. So let me know again what you guys think in the comments. I'll be back on the next one. I'm DM3 and I'm out. You know I'm on fire if you don't know. Why be? You better ask somebody about me.